Oh yeah, I talked about year ear <laughs> or year art kung fu. I don't know how to say that, but anyways, here's this cool homebrew game for ColecoVision. Yep, I'm Co Presents an arcade classic from Konami. Now this one's unique because it's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. Oh yeah, so we play this guy Lee here. And we have to see if we can save China here from the evil Wily Ru destiny. Or dynasty. Or however the hell you say that. <laughs> so, yeah, as Lee here, the guy in blue pajamas, well, I guess they're both in blue pajamas here, we have to defeat five opponents in this tower here to save China. But easier said than done. Yeah, because most of these guys here you're fighting have weapons, they throw like ninja stars, fireballs, have like a huge chain and all that. Basically they're cheaters. <laughs> well yeah, Mr. Lee here just has kids and punches. It's cool to have a one-on-one -on -one fighting game here on the Cleveland Vision, but I don't know. <laughs> when you're dealing with one button to punch and the rest to, you know, enter in your commands, it gets kind of aggravating. Like this is no Street Fighter 2, let's just say that. It's more like a basic version of Street Fighter 1 and you know how much I like that version if you ever watch my fighting stream review. <laughs> Make sure you read that manual and see what you have to do because to do a kick right to the head you have to hit <laughs> dang no up. It's very confusing. And you're gonna want to learn that kick right off the bat. <laughs> and half of the time that doesn't even work either. All right, I'll go to kick him. I'll go to punch him, but the punch doesn't register. And nope, he gets out of the way. It's almost like China Warriors one-on-one -on -one fights when you fight a boss. Sometimes when you think you kick somebody, but nope, they block it instantly, even though <laughs> You're pretty sure that the hit connects. It's very iffy. Okay. Alright. And to do a front jump kick, you have to hit the action button. And then when you're in mid-air, when you're about to land, <laughs> you have to hit the button again. Of course, that's easier said than done because <laughs> you just might sail over your opponent anyways. Alright, I don't like the controls in this game, it's a bit too old school for me, but the graphics and music are excellent here. It doesn't change much from stage to stage, but the enemies are pretty unique. It's interesting fights, let's just say that. Oh, I'm hitting you. <laughs> ah, that's so cheap. So, it's a good enough game for its day, I guess, but man, it doesn't hold on right now, you know? When I play ColecoVision, I love playing games like Frenzy and Pac-Man Collection, but this definitely doesn't age very well at all. I'm pretty sure I'm hitting these opponents here, but nope, the hit doesn't register. And look at this character here. <laughs> this guy is supposed to be like... A Chinese martial art badass, and he looks like Ralph Mel from Happy Days. <laughs> oh. Why did they have to give him like jet orange hair or something? Because it looks silly. <laughs> I know, that's a whole anime manga thing. Let's give like Sarah Moon blonde hair because it looks cool. <laughs> but no, let's make her look like a Barbie doll. But here I am going on another tangent. Anyways, the guy looks goofy here. It could have been like nice and comical and all that. The sound effects are still here. The way it goes, <laughs> you know, graphics, music are excellent. Like, I'm cool. Did an awesome job giving her this over. It looks awesome here at the ColecoVision, but still, ah, the gameplay doesn't hold up at all. Thankfully, you can play this with one to two players, but all the two players will be using the computer control characters, like the enemies, and one player can only play as Lee. So it's kind of like Rise of the Robots <laughs> for Super Nintendo. 
one player can only be the main one player dude and uh <laughs> yeah the two player can only be the enemies <laughs> of course I'd rather be the enemies because they can use the cheat tactics ah. so pick your poison I guess it's decent enough if you're desperate for a fine game for Clico this looks amazing but it just doesn't play very well anymore and that's why I had to give Year Air Kung Fu here a 60 out of 100. All right, and that's it for me. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Still a decent enough game. If you can get cheap, you know, why how not? And it's not like we're gonna get Street Fighter 2 for the Clico Vision anytime soon, anyways. <laughs> okay, the Star Soldier over and out.